What's up, guys? Finn here. Another video coming to you live from the basement in a different room. Real quick, I ordered some driftwood for my new 50 gallon aquarium, and I'm just soaking it here in the laundry tub. Um, I already soaked it overnight, overnight last night just to get all this brown uh, discolor residue that comes on them that can vary uh, very, very um, and uh, it's best to rinse them and, and let them soak uh, last night I let it sit overnight um, and then now I'm just gonna redo it again for today and later tonight uh, I will come drain this and let them sit out and I will do another, another video when I uh, set them up in my aquarium. Now even though I let them soak for a while, your tank is still going to get some uh, brown tint to it. That's okay because your filter will do, the, do its job and clean it up. But uh, if you were say if you just got these in the mail and put them right in your tank, really really brown dark brown uh, kind of like an Amazon water so it's best to do this soak them and then uh, you can put them in your aquarium so just showing you guys how I do it this is uh, the start of it and I will show you once again later on today me adding them to the tank thanks guys and here is the driftwood put inside the tank add some more river gravel to it um, gonna get a bigger piece of driftwood to add into there um, and then in about I don't know I'll probably do a water test here in the next couple days and come the end of May or April I already picked out the spot to where I want to uh, trap my minnows in the creek so I'll keep you guys updated what's up guys Ben here coming to you from the basement once again and uh, here's an update from me putting my uh, driftwood in here. Um, as you can see, well I can see, uh, there is a slight tint uh, inside, it looks like gravel. Gravel may have a slight tint to it. But uh, overall it's not as bad as it, it uh, was before in my um, 130 gallon when I put some driftwood in there uh, it was a nice brown tent you can clearly see it but um, actually water clarity looks pretty good in this tank uh, room temperature it's sitting like 70 degrees um, so I would imagine by first week of May I'll have some minnows in here um, what I've did or what I've done I should say is that I use Google Maps uh, around my area because there's a drain ditch down here down the road um, not very far actually I can just go across the street drive all the way to the end of that road it goes into some uh, businesses back there and there's an actual creek right there that dumps into um, our local river and uh, my dad and I was talking to my dad this past weekend and he mentioned that when he was a kid he used to hang out down by this creek and catch minnows um, because he used to have some turtles that he raised and he goes yeah they're, they're, I caught minnows bluegill perch bass and even a baby pike in there one time and uh, I was really surprised because of the bass and pike. Uh, kind of, I was expecting minnows and stuff to be in there, possibly bluegill, but uh, bass and pike, uh, impressive. Um, so he told me there's a couple of deep holes down over here, so I'm going to go put one of those traps in one of those holes and uh, record it, obviously, for a week's video uh, topic. And then hopefully will be pulling up minnows out of that creek whatever comes in that basket I'm gonna put in here so it'd be kind of interesting to see uh, what I'll catch 
So that's the information that I have right now. That's my plans. And you see the tank before and after putting the driftwood in there. Tank's coming along. As you can tell last week when I did my video, I messed up. I forgot to put water conditioner in this tap water that I put in there. And I put two or three buckets. 15, I think I put 15 gallons of water in here. And I never conditioned it. Good thing I didn't have no fish in there because most likely it would have killed them. So it's very, very important to use water conditioner. My fault. Sorry about that. We make mistakes. Um, and they're saying this weekend it's going to be like 68 Saturday and 70 degrees Sunday. So I may take some live bait and go out to the pond and try some fishing that way. Um, I'll have my stepson with me, so we're going to go out. You know, we may go out there and catch some bluegill or even try a couple local ponds nearby and uh, see what kind of luck we can get. I've been itching to go fishing, <laughs> and uh, I'm really looking in, in, into exploring new areas and possibly investing into a kayak, one of the fishing edition kayaks. So, so again, thanks for, guys, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. appreciate the support, subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, man. You're missing out. If you guys want me to cover some topics, you know, that you may want to know more about, just uh, let me know. I'll do my best to, to cover whatever information you want to know. Um, so until next week, guys, take it easy.